Welcome back to the best of Blackwater. You've seen the town, you've experienced some of the landmarks along the 100 mile or so route. And now it's time to meet some of the conquerors of the Blackwater. At the head of the list, Mark Hyde, a four-time winner and acknowledged as king of Blackwater. Jeff Fredette, winner of the 1981 Blackwater 100. Terry Cunningham, winner of the 1985 event and multi-time national enduro champion. Timmy Coombs, winner in 88 and son of Blackwater promoter Dave Coombs. And Pennsylvania's famed Eddie Lojack, winner in 84 and the 1989 Blackwater victor. These men are all champions and some of the premier off-roaders in the world. To win the Blackwater, you need a champion of a motorcycle as well. Let's take a look at the latest in off-road machinery, the current state of the art, Suzuki's RMX 250, introduced to the enthusiast press earlier this year. You're looking at the biggest reason why the job of off-road magazine editor is a highly sought after position. How many other jobs offer you free trips to do what you do for fun? Ride motorcycles. Someone else's motorcycle at that. The folks fitting the bill this day were American Suzuki. The occasion, the press introduction of the 1989 RMX 250 off-road motorcycle. American Suzuki recognized the need for a bike that's real versatile for all types of competition and, and trail riding. With desert, enduro, and hair scrambles in mind, this bike should cover it all. It's got the latest technology in the engine. It's got the latest suspension. We developed special off-road tires, long, a lot of testing for the off-road tires, special uh, valving in the front forks, and the uh, rear shock. It's just a real versatile bike, and from the trail rider to the, uh, the serious competitor, we feel this bike's gonna fill the, fill the needs for everybody. After a few days of familiarizing themselves with the new Suzuki, the magazine editors came to agree with Halcom's assessment. Uh, it's a fantastic bike, uh, phenomenal suspension. It's really plush on the rocks and roots and stuff, but it'll still take the big hits well. And lightweight and uh, excellent power, real tractable. It'll just derby over stuff that, you know, unbelievable. Some of the features of the RMX that should attract off-roaders like flies to honey are a quick-release rear wheel, mechanical odometer, extra-large capacity gas tank, and an O-ring sealed drive chain. Also, the RMX fits all the EPA standards, so you can legally ride on just about any trail in the country. Not only has Suzuki come up with a winning motorcycle, but have come up with a support plan to make off-roading accessible to the novice rider as well as the pro. This is basically enduro ready, no lights, flywheel or ring chain. The guy can go to his local dealer, buy it, the dealer can set it up for him. He goes to the off-road races, enduros, hair scrambles, whatnot. They've got a great contingency program this year, support vans, you know, the whole nine yards. So just basically buy a bike, go to the races, and uh, you can make some money, too, with it. What had been the last bastion of European motorcycle dominance has definitely fallen. Japanese manufacturers like Suzuki have seen the light as far as off-roading is concerned. Motorcycling in the desert, in the woods, and anywhere there are wide open spaces have become a phenomenally popular pastime, not only among enthusiasts, but with families as well. The who, what, and where of Blackwater has been told. Now it's time to sit back and watch some of the funniest non-stop crash and burn anywhere, and we'll have it for you. Get your VCR ready. The best of American motorcycle racing continues right after this. <laughs> 